Hey, there you are, Yuito. Have you come to request a lesson from the Master of Fun? No. You said you'd be expecting me, so I felt bad ignoring you. So you say, but you know you're ready to learn. There's no need to be embarrassed. Now, let's go to town. Ugh. Really? Don't look so down from the start. If you want to have fun, you have to enjoy it. I showed up like you told me to. I just don't feel comfortable having fun when we have so many other matters to take care of. Listen up. This isn't just hanging out. This is a well-prepared, essential lesson to save you from imminent disaster. Disaster? There's a limit to how long you can live being that stiff. The more serious you are, the bigger the damage when it all comes crashing down. So I'm not telling you to totally change, but some coaching on how to loosen up a little will definitely do you some good. Hmm. All right, you win. And I guess I do need a break. Okay, it's decided then. I'll show you all the best places in Seiron to have fun. Huh? Hey, wait a second! All right, next up, karaoke. What? Don't tell me you're tired already. Ugh, I'm totally beat. You said all the best places, but I didn't actually think you dragged me all over town. Oh, jeez. Let's sit down over there, then. Thank God. <sighs> you really are used to this. You enjoy life, huh? That's because it's a waste to not enjoy it. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should learn how to be carefree like you. Well, it's not exactly being carefree. And to be completely honest with you, life isn't really all it's cracked up to be. So, I enjoy life by escaping reality. I guess you could say it's a diversion to make me forget. When you say it like that, it kind of makes it sound like today was a waste of time. Sorry about that, but wasn't it a nice break? I do feel a little loosened up. Which means you need to escape reality sometimes. Especially someone like you who has to deal with a lot of problems. What problems are you dealing with then? It's obvious you're trying to escape from something, too. I don't have any problems. I'm just the easygoing guy you know and love. I really doubt that. Immigrating from the moon and living for 2,000 years here on Earth has got to be a roller coaster of a life. I'm sure you have a lot of memories, both good and bad. You must have a lot of stuff on your mind. All right, all right, enough about me already. We're here to relieve your stress today. Come on, next place. Okay, I dodged the question. It's probably safe to assume that something really is bothering him. I can't even begin to imagine what kind of life he's lived. And I can't help but wonder what his true feelings are. Let's rest before we go back to Suo.
All right. We're going back to Suo, but they think we're rebels. When we get there, do you think they'll send the National Defense Forces or the OSF after us? Even if we do get caught, who says we won't be able to make a request to see the Chief? We'll most likely get our personalities rehabilitated before then. I thought about it, and I think it might be best to say we want to see my brother right off the bat. Yuita, that's bold. I'm sure they know we've been all over, learning secrets. My brother takes the Sumeragi name seriously. I think he'll want to persuade me to join him. Now that I'm branded a rebel, he might expect me to come crying to him. That's crazy. I'm almost certain that he's waiting for me. All right, but we should do what we can to prepare for a confrontation. Yeah, I know. I sure do hope Kaito hears you out. It'll be nice to get some new information from him as well. There's probably many things we still don't know. I agree. And he is the head of the OSF. So it is safe to say that he knows just as many secrets as the counselors. I guess if that's the case, maybe it is worth trying. What is it, Wataru? Oh, no, it, it's just... I was thinking of ways I could support you from here. Anyway, don't worry about it. Okay, keep up the good work. All right, let's head out to Suo. A state of emergency has been declared in Suo. Civilians should evacuate to shelters immediately. What's going on? There aren't any soldiers. No, they're just hiding. This whole area is surrounded by the National Defense Forces. They're waiting to ambush the rebels. But something isn't right. They're definitely planning something. Even if it's a trap, all we can do is go straight in. Let's head to the OSF headquarters. Someone's coming this way. Is that... Hey, Yuito. I missed you. Nagi? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? <laughs> Just hanging out, you know? I'm here to clean the rebel filth out from the great new Himuka! Is it new Himuka's plan to make us fight Nagi? I won't do it. We don't need to fight. Nagi, run away with us. We'll find a way to undo the personality rehabilitation. If they can just change you like that, there must be a way to change you back. What? I can't go now. The fun's about to start. I'm gonna kill you and rip out your brain! Brain? Maybe he's ordered to get Yuito's brain. What? Hey, Yuito. We're friends. You'd do me a favor, wouldn't you? Give me your brain! He's so strong. This isn't just personality rehabilitation. He's received some kind of power enhancement. Damn! Why? Why is this happening? Do we have to fight? Feel free to stand there if you don't want to fight me! I'm gonna cut off that ugly head of yours either way! You are gonna try to fight back, right? And I wanna see you struggle. Make it more fun for me. <laughs> I feel the power coursing through my veins. It feels so good! Monkey's power is rapidly increasing. Any hesitation could be deadly. I won't let him kill you, Ito. We're gonna stop him with everything we have. Use my power when you can't anticipate the shot from's movement. Let's Nagi told me that he wasn't suited to use bias. It might have been attached, with no thought given to the negative effects it may have on the brain. It's awful! He's a human being! Here we go! A follow up! Yeah! Ow, oh, that hurts! Damn it! 
it! Yeah! Something big is coming. Watch out. You. I'll kill you! Not yet. for us to fight! Shut up, shut up, shut up! I'll kill you! I must have your brain! What's wrong? Uh, no! Shut up! Don't tell me what to do! Stop! Stop! Yuito! Can't move him. Wake up, uh, Yuito. I, uh, Nagi, you are you yourself? Sorry, I didn't know what was happening. The voice said I had to kill you. Don't apologize. It's not your fault. It was all the people who did this to you. I. I didn't want to fight you. I tried to resist, but it hurt so much. They told me to kill you. That they'd kill me if I didn't. I was so scared. So I couldn't stop. There was 
nothing else I could do. Every time he resisted, they sent him to personality rehabilitation. How can they be so cruel? I'm fine, so don't be so hard on yourself. You don't have to be afraid of their threats anymore. I'll fight with you. <laughs> Yuito, you're so... How did this happen? We were always together. Ever since we were cadets, we were finally OSF. In Seto Platoon, I thought we could still goof off together. I... I have to apologize to Captain Seto, but it's too late. <laughs> I thought that when I died, it would be more heroic, you know? Going out in a blaze of glory, fighting another. Look at me. I'm no hero. Tell me. How did I... How did I... mess everything up so bad? Hey, Yuito. If I was gonna die either way, what... What should I have done differently, huh? <laughs> Haki! Haki! <laughs> You weren't wrong, Nagi. It was the country that did this to you. They're the ones to blame. When I didn't know what to do, you were the one who suggested we join the OSF. I said I wanted to save people, but I couldn't even protect you. I'm sorry. I will avenge you. That's a promise I can keep. Yuito? I'm fine. I hate just leaving him there. Yeah. We'll take care of him later. We have to go see my brother. He's a government official. He probably had something to do with Nagi waiting here to ambush us. No way. You think Kaito would use Nagi to get at you? I don't know. Either way, we have to meet. The National Defense Forces are surrounding the path to OSF headquarters. They haven't given up on capturing the traitors. They're probably no match for you, but be careful. Oh, and Yuito? Take it easy. Thanks, Wataru. All right, let's head to OSF headquarters. What's going on at OSF headquarters, Wataru? Wataru, do you copy? Huh? Oh, sorry, you can keep moving, Yuito. Something's up with him. No one in front of a... Thank you. 
OSF headquarters. There aren't any OSF or National Defense Forces. What's going on? We haven't run into any interference since we got to headquarters. They must have ordered everyone out. The only person in that room is... Chief Sumeragi. So, he's waiting for me. Just like I thought. It'll be difficult supporting you going forward. Do your best talking to the Chief. You mean, the network's going to get cut off? No. I'll tell you why later. Just do your best. Got it. Will do. Everyone ready? Here we go. Kaito. I figured you'd come by. Yuito? I wanted to talk to the new Himuka government about Seiron, so here I am. I figured since you're with the government, you'd listen to me. Your safety has been assured for that purpose. I assume you want me to remove your status as a rebel? Before we get into that, Kaito, there's something I need to ask you. Was it you that sent Nagi after me? What if it was? <clears throat> How could- Unfortunately, he failed. We gave him so many enhancements, yet he was still a failure. Don't say that about Nagi! Yuito, I know how you feel, but... It is awful, but you must hold yourself back. Why, Kaito? Why did you do that? What did Nagi ever do? He knew about the secret of metamorphosis, so he was rehabilitated. I'm sure you know all about that. He was the perfect subject for testing power enhancement on an OSF soldier. Also, he was exactly what we needed to tame you. That power of yours. New Himuka needs the special gravikinesis power you have. I thought you'd be open to the idea if we used your friend, but you really are irritating. You did all of that to Nagi just to get my power? I wouldn't have needed to do this if you had just done what the government wanted. If you had come to me as soon as you were branded a rebel, I could have taken care of it. You've always been like this. You do whatever you want, without listening to my advice. You don't act at all like a Sumeragi. That's why Father never told you. Tell me what? That it's our destiny to fulfill the wishes of Yakumo Sumeragi. Wishes? It doesn't matter. You don't need to know. Does it have something to do with the moon? Yakumo Sumeragi was one of the first colonists from the moon. Where did you learn that? In Togetsu. We went to Togetsu and found a lot of information that New Himuka is hiding. You went to Togetsu? So that's where you disappeared to. I already told you I want to talk. If we don't stop Togetsu, New Himuka will- There isn't a single piece of information that comes out of Togetsu worth trusting. Don't tell me you've been brainwashed. Who are you calling brainwashed? We looked into what we learned in Togetsu, and we think we can trust it. Silence! You were just seduced by them without knowing Yakumo Sumeragi's noble purpose. I'll teach you some real history. We were sent to Earth, our motherland in order to reduce the human population on the moon. Not only that, they created the Extinction Belt and sealed the colonists on Earth. What? The Extinction Belt was created by the people on the moon? Now you see just how diabolical the moon is. After much hardship, Yakumo Sumeragi created New Himuka and came to a decision that someday we would destroy the Extinction Belt and attack the moon. We inherited Yakumo Sumeragi's will, and we must exact our revenge on the moon. Revenge? That's what Yakumo wanted? 
Yes, it is our destiny to fulfill the Founding Father's wishes. It is that very reason Nuhimuka exists. Now you see what it is you must do, what your duty is as a descendant of Yakumo. If we use your gravikinesis, we can move the extinction belt. The time has come to open the path to the moon and get our revenge. I don't have that kind of power. It's possible. If you connect to all the citizens through SAS, even if it's just a normal person's brain, with thousands, tens of thousands connected together, your brain functions will expand exponentially. By connecting so many psionics, Nuhimuka's military strength will increase rapidly. Connecting civilians to SAS? Ridiculous! Only psionics can endure that kind of pain. Whether or not they can endure it is of no importance. The only thing we need are their brains. Actually, it would be best to eliminate their pesky personalities, and personality rehabilitation technology makes that easy. Stop it! People aren't a means to an end, and neither am I! Kaito, it's stupid to get revenge for a 2,000-year-old grudge! I think what the people from the moon did was wrong too. They made the extinction belt. But do you really think it's right to force civilians into this? That is the will of Yakumo Sumeragi. Yakumo this, Yakumo that, he died a long time ago. Yakumo Sumeragi is alive. What are you? He is asleep, deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge. Are you referring to cold sleep? Just like Kagura. I was shocked as well when our father first told me. And it was at that same time I realized the destiny that awaits. Grow up. There's so much you need to understand about what it means to be a Sumeragi. Destiny? Who cares? Because it's a 2,000 year old tradition? Because I'm a Sumeragi? It's just an excuse to stop yourself from thinking about it. I'll never be like you. I want to find the truth, evaluate it, and decide for myself. You'll lose the honor of our family name. I don't care. With or without the Sumeragi name, I'm still me. What? Yuito. You. I didn't think you would be so unreasonable. I suppose all I can do is force you to cooperate. I was hoping you'd listen to me, but I guess that's out of the question. Sorry, but I don't plan on getting caught now. You are betraying our father. I know I am, but I think Dad would understand. Fool. I have something important to tell you. Can you get to the safe zone? Tell me what? All right, let's just get out of here. We'll stand out if we hang around here. We should move to the safe zone. There is... 
No one around here. What do you want to tell him, Wataru? Shouldn't we get out of Suo and rethink our plans for now? No, I want to tell you right away. Everything the Chief just said? I was able to use the system to record the video and audio for all of it. What? Didn't you say that recording was prohibited? There are ways to get around that. It does, in fact, take a certain amount of skill, though. That's so dangerous. If you got caught, personality rehabilitation would be the least of your worries. We were all in danger, and I covered my trail. But yeah, it was risky, so there won't be a second time. Oh, so you said you couldn't support us because you were focusing on that. You recorded the conversation with my brother. You're thinking about the keycard Fubuki gave you. If we access Arahabaki, we can send the data to everyone in New Himuka. Yeah, that's right. We can complete Major General Fubuki's mission. Then my brother and father's name will be dragged through the dirt. Yuito. I know your family's involved, but you're not responsible for the things they've done. I respect my commander's decision, and I'm ready to take on this burden with you. We're a team. We know you have some hard decisions to make, but we all feel the same as Gemma. Allow us to help carry the burden. Thanks, guys. Honestly, I'm not sure if destroying what my father and brother built is the right thing to do. But now I know the truth, so I have to act. I know this is something I need to do. Let's go to Arahabaki. We're telling everyone what my brother and Nuhimuka have been hiding. All right, let's make this happen. That's it then. I pulled up a route to Arahabaki for you. Major General Fubuki sent me the data earlier. Thanks, Wataru. For that and the video. I knew we could count on our operator. <laughs> Just doing my job. Okay, I've sent you the location data. Let's head there right now. The key card we got from Major General Fubuki gets us through. Are we inside Arahabaki? This feels different than the place we visited on that field trip. I don't recognize it at all. It's installed below Suo. It goes down pretty far, but only the upper levels are open to the public. I believe this is the secure site where they control it. Fubuki was only allowed restricted access, so we don't know much. We should be able to access it from somewhere around here. It doesn't look like there's anyone suspicious around. But I do see that it's softly big in there. Got it. Tell me when you see something. First, let's look for an access terminal. Kaito wouldn't even listen to us about stopping the war with Seiron. It seemed like he stopped listening as soon as he heard Sogetsu was involved. He was shocked. He didn't think you'd turn against him. Yeah, I was surprised too. But I'm glad I said what I wanted to. You didn't have many opportunities to speak frankly with the Chief? <laughs> Not at all. We've never been close. My brother has always followed in our father's footsteps, unlike me. I think my brother just did what he thought was right. I still can't forgive him though. Just because you're brothers doesn't necessarily mean you understand each other. There was a lot I didn't get about my brother. Former Major General Karin seems like he's a bigger problem than my brother. <laughs> Us younger brothers have it hard. <laughs> we do? Something's coming at 10 o'clock. Is that... another? What? People use this place. What's an other doing here? I see it too. Did someone realize you were there and lure it in? Maybe... No, there's no point thinking about that. 
We just have to be careful. The connection is bad inside Ara Habaki. It might take time for me to receive the video data. Everyone, get back! Understood. Go as fast as you can. Okay, that worked. We can move forward now. There's no way there should be others inside Ara Habaki, right? No. They shouldn't be in the sealed area like this. Maybe some... Never mind. That's a fast one. Use SAS, Yumiko. Fight speed with speed.
Help! 